So David gave me a new challenge in his book. He talks about the cookie jar. It's basically where he puts all of his successes, his wins, you know, in his mind when he's in pain. And he takes a cookie out, a success, a win out of the cookie jar, out of his mind. Reads it, what a badass he was or whatever. He remembers it and he pushes through pain by having, you know, that win in his mind. To know that he can do even more, to know he can go through pain, you know, all that stuff. And yeah, he said basically to post, post a video about my own memories, about my own successes, about my own failures that I tried again and again and get, and won and succeeded in the thing. And yeah, I'm gonna read you a few of them. So I, you know, see, you can, I, wrote, I wrote them out in a textbook. And one day I did 500 push ups in a single day in 24 hours. So that's what I'm really proud of. And today I'm, gonna, I'm trying to defeat that. Currently I've done 270 push-ups. No, just have to do 200. And I'm gonna do 200 more. To be like, you know, almost at 600. So even I have a better score than my all brothers in my family. So yeah, that's one. And today, I mean a few days ago, I got a new, you know, how they call it, a new ability, basically, because, you know, in the video before this one, I was talking how I'm not stretchy, how that's my goal right now to become so stretchy, I can lit literally touch the floor with my palms, with my whole palms to be on the floor, right, like that, so right now, I'm doing my best, and a few days ago, I got to touch my toes, which is amazing, like, I couldn't done anything like that ever before in my entire life. You know, I had always six packs. I was always athletic. And it was like real, something really special for me. So, yeah, my progress is really getting better in being stretchy. And yeah, I've been, been stretching myself, trying to be really stretchy for now three months, four months. Bad four months, you know. And yeah, I'm doing my best. I'm seeing progress, which is uh, really motivating to me, and yeah, I'm gonna try to do that as soon as possible so I can make a video how I achieved my goal, and that's pretty much it. I've been training, you know, like six days a week for seven months last year, but then I got injured and I stopped, so I lowered the bar, you know, I couldn't train because I really hurt my back, like really bad and didn't train like for two months at all i like literally couldn't i couldn't even jump i was just walking i wasn't even in school and all that stuff and then one was we had you know school tournaments school volleyball tournaments and we didn't win we didn't became the champions we got the second we came second in the country we lost and yeah you know that's one one like big thing for me because it, i was basically leading the team all the time and it was really hard for me and then we lost, but you know, again, that's a really good motivation, which is gonna, which I'm gonna explain how it becomes such a motivation at the end of the video. So stick around, and and yeah, as I said, today's goal is for me to make uh, more than 500 push-ups, and I'm really gonna do it. I didn't go to school today because I was still sick, so that gave me the chance to do to do this challenge to give myself a goal to do more than 500 push-ups today and i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do my best i'm also gonna read a few pages of this book right now you can see all of these are marked where the challenges are you know you see them so yeah and that's one thing i wanted to talk about you know he in the book he says you know take memories that wins to, to fuel you right to go through pain but Currently, I'm not getting really used to it. I can't, you know, I can't even think in pain normally. So it's really hard. So I got to get used to it, to think about my successes, what a badass I was or all, or all, and all that stuff. But it's really easy for me to think of when I lost, you know. And the time when I didn't win the school tournament, when I didn't win, when we didn't become the champions of the our country, right, in volleyball. I was like really pissed and all that stuff and it's really good for me it motivates me like to go push through pain to think when we lost when we could have won and i know the last point 
we lost because of me because it went off my my hands in the block when i was blocking the ball and yeah it really fueled me so i'm gonna try to you know get used to it you know remembering my successes my wins and all that stuff but yeah so far i'm doing pretty good and i just wanted to share you know how i'm doing this challenge my memories i have a lot more of them you know written right here and yeah th those were the main ones i told you about so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next david david's challenge take all the advantages peace